What's up, everyone? It's Tuesday. So, you know, me, Diego, and I got my best friend with me today. Hey, guys. This is Hannah. Uh, so this week's topic is just reintroductions and life updates. So, I'm Diego. <laughs> I'm Hannah. <laughs> I'm 26. I live in Denver. And... Ditto. <laughs> um, I've been on T for eight months. It was eight months on the 22nd. So, yay. yay. I've never been on T, but I've been loving my best <laughs> friend since January of 2008. Consuelo. Diego. We've been homies for a long time. We're tight. We're tight. <laughs> She actually has a lot of friends that have transitioned. What did you tell me once? I thought I had a lot of awesome girlfriends. <laughs> Turns out they're all boys. <laughs> I never had like like chick friends really, and then all of a sudden I did, and they were like really awesome lesbian friends. And then the last <laughs> like three years they've all decided to transition whether they're like really awesome people I met through you, like Chris. Oh, or yeah. our friend Chris. who tattoos, <laughs> um, or you know, our friend Mo. I uh, did plenty yeah. of people. We all, we all used to be awesome lesbians. <laughs> it's been really cool. I'm still bigger than all the boys. Six foot she two is. in the house. She's six two. I'm pretty tall compared to everyone else as well. I'm five nine for anyone who doesn't know, uh, which is pretty tall. For most trans, I have yet Tell actually. Tell about how you told me your feet were growing this morning. Oh yeah, my feet have grown. I know that a lot of people say that that's supposed to be a myth, and I really didn't believe that it was going to happen. And for the longest time, I didn't think that it was happening because I tend to wear Vans that are canvas, and they kind of stretch with your feet, just in general. And then, oh, it's getting dark all of a sudden. Oh. No, now it's going to get dark. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, Problem solver. <laughs> uh, but I had put on a pair of regular shoes and realized that they were too small. So my feet did grow. And this morning, I had just gotten all my canvas shoes back. I've been wearing regular shoes that are the proper size these days. And I got all my canvas shoes back. And my feet are even too big for those now. So I'm, I'm still only wearing them now. Look, I have it on. I'm still wearing them, but they are really tight. <laughs> I'm only bringing it up because I wear a women's almost 12, and Consuelo's always been a half size smaller than me, and I have to wear dude shoes, but his shoes are always tight and right, so now I can actually get his hand-me-downs when he gets new shoes. Yeah, so she just wants my shoes. It's fine. But I've been skinny it again, so half of them are going to get destroyed, so <laughs> I don't think they're getting handed down to anyone. Um, but yeah, so life updates. Um, I did quit my job with the moving company uh, la at the beginning of the month, I think. It was like, well, I guess it was kind of the end of February. But I got my last check on March 3rd <laughs> from them. I in just case the happy. world needs to know. Yeah. I mean, it's a life update, so that's what's going on in my life. I've just been kind of chilling. I want to cook again. And I've talked about it on my personal channel a little bit that me and this person, uh, there hasn't Speaking been a face of to it. Cooking, but... this is going on in my life. Garlicky cauliflower <laughs> steaks oh. with lemon and parsley cauliflower isn't the sexiest vegetable. It's lumpy, it's bumpy. Okay, the, the description does not. <laughs> but the it first... looks really good. Mm -hmm. The picture looks good. I'm looking at food on Pinterest. <laughs> Yeah, we've just been hanging all day. That's pretty much all that happens. Cause she happened to quit her job like a week after I quit mine. Not because of me. Don't think that I'm a bad influence. It's because I want to ride bikes. <laughs> she wants to pedicab, so that's what she's doing. And look, it's just getting dark again. What? It gets dark. Oh, <laughs> it's shameless your face. plug. It's your I'm face riding face. bikes to get fit for Dinosaur. Which is the largest women's party, and it's not really talked about. Um, so this is maybe a question. If someone can answer this question for me, uh, shamelessly. I went into my local uh, women's bar, Blush at Blue, down here in Denver. It's a couple blocks from my house. And I was asking some of the M to F folk that I know, because I'm going to Dinah Shore 
um, as a personal assistant. So I'm going to be doing a lot of grunt and bitch work the entire time, but it's going to be <laughs> worth it. Cross your fingers. Um, uh, but there's not a lot of talk about... Uh, it's supposed to be a women's party. There's not a lot of talk about the M to F community that's invited, whether they be lesbian or bisexual or whether they now identify as straight females, uh, regardless. Uh, so I'm, I'm curious if any of you out there know anyone who's gone or have friends or experiences that you'd like to share. Because uh, i got to write about this, and that's something that's not talked about, and I think it should be talked about. We're just about. curious if there's some sort of trans community. I understand that most people, I mean, most of this is F to M's, but a lot of us know M to F's. And the first thing they asked really me is about if I was going there. to Tegan and Sarah, so I know they have an interest in attending these parties because <laughs> Tegan and Sarah are playing. I mean, so I'm, just, I'm curious if, if people have gone or, or what that's like on that end of the community because not a lot of people have tried to bridge that gap. And I, my best friend, is part of that gap, and I like. We're just, you know, everyone knows the tea tends to get dropped off a little bit of things. And I think exactly. that it's starting to kind of come to a time where people are realizing that. And more younger folks that are more of the L, G, and B. Oh my God, those donuts look good. <laughs> but he, folks that are more of the L, G, and B persuasion that are younger are, I guess, just starting to have more friends that are identifying as transgender or transitioning um, because it's becoming something that I don't want to say really easier to do, but there's more of a community here now of us that I feel like people are more comfortable coming out as trans. And it's just, I don't know, I feel like people that are my age and my friends definitely want to know more about the trans community and want to share that with people they know. And I know that people that I don't know who know my friends have even asked them about trans things knowing that their friend is trans, me, aka me. So, um, I don't know. So yeah, any kind of information or feedback from anyone would be awesome. Those are my current life questions. <laughs> I don't really have much life questions. I'm just trying to cook these days and get our art collective going. We're going to be doing streetwear and stuff like that, as well as just visual art, uh, doing events for other artists. We want to definitely promote other artists and everywhere. So if any of you out there, anywhere, mostly in this country for right now, eventually we'd like to go worldwide, but I don't think I can afford shipping on things. But but hey, if you have a good idea on how to fund us to get us overseas, I am open to that yeah, idea. Definitely. My passport does not expire. We're totally expire shamelessly plugging our businesses right now. It's what's going on in our life currently. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys watch this whole thing. Um, but that's about it. Uh, you can check out my personal channel if you want like personal updates and shit like that. I shouldn't say shit or swear a whole lot. <laughs> yeah, you could should be really kids have watching watch. this. I'm terrible. But yeah, you can check out my personal channel for that. I did just upload an eight-month video, and I do have a list of questions that are common that I get asked that I'll be doing a video for shortly. So um, yeah, otherwise, you know where to find me, all my stuff. You know, I'll put it in the box, you know, below. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, well, y'all have fun. I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Say bye, Hannah. Bye.